Hey Airbnb friends, welcome to another Grow Airbnb video. Now in this video, I wanna show you how you can sync your Airbnb calendar with booking.com. I'm gonna share you my screen. We're gonna go through a detailed step-by-step -step process. So let's go through the video now. Hey, now let's get right into the video. So obviously if you're new to Airbnb, um, you just need to make sure that when they see your profile, which is, this is what it looks like in July, 2024, you just make sure that you switch to hosting and obviously you'll invite to your hosting page. Um, something I want to quickly celebrate as well is if we go right at the bottom. I mean, some of the big bookings we've received for our clients like £3,988, £3,500, £7,605, £8,646 and yeah, really exciting. But in this video, what I want to do is I want to sit down and show you exactly how to connect your Airbnb calendar with booking.com calendar. It's pretty straightforward. So what you need to do is firstly go and get yourself the booking.com link the URL link. Now with Airbnb, once you go into your calendar and you select a property, now in this case, obviously this property is already connected to a property management software. However, if you have got two individual Airbnb and booking.com going and you know, you've only got one, two property, effectively, if you understand how to manage your calendar, you don't need a property management software to, to get your calendar obviously linked up. Look, now if you're new to this channel, wanting to ask you a massive favor, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're very close to hit 3000 subscriber and make sure you hit that notification bell because all I'm gonna do is every single week I'm bringing new videos like this for you guys to enjoy and not make any mistakes. So what you do is once you see this, literally this profile here, go slightly on the right hand side, you can see pricing availability. If you keep going down, what you're gonna be able to see in, in bottom here is different monthly options, motion, discount, additional changes. And Lastly, if you hit availability here, and then go slightly down, you're gonna see here, connect calendars. Now, all you need to do, as you can see here, you can say connect to another website. So if you open that, now you've got a Airbnb calendar link, which is what booking.com will need. So you copy that as your calendar. And in step number two, all you need to do is get the link ending ININC from the other website, which is from booking.com. And all you need to do is copy and paste that here. Go into calendar name, just write, make sure you write in booking.com and then you add calendar calendar. While we're going through this video, I wanted to share you last week, I did a video on how to change your minimum night stay. And I would love you to go and check it out. The link is going to be up here and in the description. But let's get back into the video now. So pretty much as long as you are syncing those two on both the actual softwares and platforms, this is pretty much how you connect your booking.com and Airbnb calendar. Now, obviously there's a little bit more into it. So my suggestion is when you go here, you, there is an option where it says help center. If you click that, you are gonna get a numbers of different kind of ways and support that you need. Obviously we've done it for our clients before, but sometimes there'll be some kind of technical issue um, that will not allow yourself to do that. But to be honest, this is pretty much on a step-by-step -step process that Airbnb has also done. So what I'm going to do guys for you is I'm going to leave this article in the description below. And yeah, if you just go in, you'll be able to find the link. But I hope this video was useful to actually find and exactly how to sync your calendar within Airbnb and booking.com. Thank you so much for watching. Another Grow Your BNB video. Now, this was literally to make sure that your calendars are synced so you don't get double booked. And more importantly, it's a much more easier way to manage. However, we've done a lot of videos around, you know, channel managers, how you can leverage channel managers. So guys, thank you so much for watching another Grow Your BNB video. I would love you to do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, and that button here, which is the notification bell. And look, we'll be back with another the video but for this now and this video I didn't want you to make any mistakes and hence why we're doing this amazing how-to videos that you can come back every single week to enjoy.